I can't date him because he's too young and shit like that, but I do love him. He absolute to me. Leslie Clark is another TikTok creator we're gonna be talking about, and oh boy, it's a spicy person. Leslie Clark is a 25 year old woman that lives in Louisiana, and she rose to fame from people mocking her online. She has multiple accounts on TikTok, and she is known to abandon accounts frequently. We still don't know why she does that, but people say that she might have for forgotten her password and always makes a new account because making a new account is much more easier than than fucking remembering the old password. Okay, so a bit of a backstory. She has been arrested before because she has stolen her grandma's car, which is the worst thing you could ever do. And <laughs> the thing that she's just stolen it from her grandma of all people, someone she knows, that's, that's just fucked up, you know? Not that stealing is justified when it's a random person. I'm just saying that stealing from a person you know and who is related to you is more fucked up. Stealing is still bad, so, you know, don't do it. The worst part about the whole stealing situation was that uh, she lives with her grandma, rent-free, and practically depends on her for her housing and food. Like, it's so fucked up because you have to understand that you shouldn't try to bite the hand that feeds you because she could have gotten kicked out from her grandma's house and sent somewhere else and she's unemployed and she doesn't have any ambitions on changing that and she's literally a parasite to her grandma and now let's talk about her scamming people so on top of leeching from her grandma she tends to scam people by pretending to have a baby or a baby is along the way and she requests people to please donate her money to buy baby formula but in reality what she's doing with the money is that she uses it to buy vapes and refills for them does she need any other baby stuff no, mostly just formula. Only one can or... She said one is okay, but if you can do two, it would be a big help. Let me see what I can do for sure. Well, that's your cousin's cash app. It says your name. Oops, my bad. You needed her cash app. Yeah. By the way, these aren't allegations. She actually admitted to it uh, already. I just want to say thank you because you got a point. You really do got a point. Because it is their own fault. It's pretty obvious that she's not all there. You can clearly see that she's ignorant and blind from all the attention she is getting. By the way guys, if you guys enjoy this type of content, please sub, I'd appreciate it. Anyways, let's continue this. Oh yeah, and thank you in advance. She believes that she has genuine fans of hers, but in reality, these people are just following her to mock her. It is weird though that her family doesn't stop or prevent situations that is caused by her actions. Because if I was one of her relatives, I would advise her to stop these types of things and get proper help for her type of situation. But I feel like her parents or relatives have gone with a hands-off approach and you can clearly see her suffering the consequences of that type of method. And to confirm more about her own uh, situation, her dad made a phone call to a fellow TikTok creator confirming about her issues. Leslie is, uh is special needs okay thank you for telling and, me and, and she is not she's not mentally adult okay, okay. she's got the mentality of a fourth, uh, fourth grader pretty much thank you for telling me sir that makes a lot of sense uh, because what she's doing yeah. is really kitty because i did nothing like let me tell you sir i've been nothing but kind to your daughter and i I don't know why, out of nowhere, she had beef with another friend of hers, Alexis. I don't know if you've heard that name before, but you probably have. Yes. Yeah, right? <laughs> she had beef with this girl, Alexis, and I've been nothing but kind, and I, I have done nothing. And you can even ask her. Show her the messages. We just had a conversation because she was beefing with, Ale or she was having an issue with Alexis. And all of a sudden, she's saying, oh, go get lynched. So the next uh, situation that I want to talk about that involves her is that she was talking to a minor. Watch this. My name's Ethan. I was 15 when she sent the nudes to me, and I'm 17 now. <laughs> you were the one? You were the one? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I was 15 when she sent the nudes to me. That my sister has the account logged You are Courtney's brother. Yes, ma'am. My God. Yes, ma'am. My sister has all the logins to that account, all the info. Her father even sent his dick. To me. Like the whole family's messed up in the head. So, okay. I have a question, Ethan. And Leslie, please. Did you know he was 15 when you sent those photos? You know, I did. No, I didn't. Leslie, okay. how old did you think he was? Uh, t somebody told me he was 18. Why didn't you ask him? Man, I'm going to be straight up with you. I told her how old I was. I said, I'm not allowed to talk to anybody above the age of 17. And that's when she had sent the nudes. Did you and ask for those pictures? 
No, ma'am, I did not. I showed my sister. Right. These are still allegations and nothing is concrete. But the fact is that she was interested with a minor. And the worst part is that she subjected the poor boy with photos of herself with limited clothing. <laughs> and oh my god, just imagine it. <laughs> That is horrifying to even think about. Not even a desperate man would want to see that. The stupid part of her sending nudes to people is that she's sending it to random people and she's sending it without knowing their age and without the request. So imagine being one of the poor boys to receive this gift from her and wanting to die the next second af after you opened the file image. Just to let you know, no, this shit happened like fucking years ago and everybody fucking knows about this shit and it I have fucking changed. So it's true. You still dated a child. I never dated a fucking Multiple child. Multiple children. You sent news to one. No, it's not. It was just one. It doesn't oh, matter it if it was just one, Leslie. That and doesn't go away. At this point, everybody fucking knows There's about it. Proof. Everybody freaking knows about it, and it's always fucking it. I fucking changed. I haven't done that shit in fucking years. At first, she's denying that she dated a minor, and now she says she did. She can't keep her story straight, so all her credibility goes down the drain. She is literally the worst liar on TikTok. Hands down. I have a huge crush on Connor. Um, I'm, but that's a problem. I can't date him because he's too young and shit like that. But I do care for him. I do love him. Her whole career is just a disaster. She likes and dated minors, she scams people, and she stole her grandma's car. Like, please take away her phone or do something to prevent more shit from going down. I know she's not mentally well and she has issues right now, but she needs help, okay? She needs help. Make her turn off her phone, make her go offline for once, and get help in the real world because uh, she needs it. Well, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Like and sub. It'll be a huge help. And comment if you have more info about her or I made a mistake in the video. Anyways, see you in the next one. Peace.